If sine of alpha is 3 fifths, where alpha is between pi and 3 pi over 2, and cosine of beta is 12 over 13 between 0 and pi over 2, find sine of alpha plus beta. Um, sine of alpha plus beta equals sine of negative 3 fifths plus 12 over 13, no. It's saying that the sine of alpha is negative 3 over 5 and cosine of beta is 12 over 13. So it's not in, plugged inside the equation, that's actually what it is. So we need to know what the equation is, which is sine of alpha times cosine beta plus cosine alpha sine beta. Now we need to find cosine alpha, cosine beta, sine alpha, sine beta. Um, the sine alpha was given in the equation, so we can find that. Um, by drawing a little triangle here, we know it's between pi and 3 pi over 2. So sine of negative 3 fifths is going to be um, like this triangle. Negative 3 on the opposite side, 5 on the hypotenuse. we got to find 4. Negative 4 equaling x. We do that by using the Pythagorean theorem. So we get sine of alpha equaling negative 3 fifths and cosine of alpha equaling negative 4 fifths. Now for beta, um, we know that cosine of beta equals 12 over 13, so now we need to find what x is to find the sine. x equals 5 according to the Pythagorean theorem, so cosine of beta equals 12 13 and sine of beta equals 5 over 13. Um, so now right back to the equation, sine of alpha times cosine of beta plus cosine alpha sine of beta, negative 3 fifths times 12 13 plus negative 4 fifths times 5 13 negative 3 fifths times 12 13 equals negative 36 over 55 plus negative 4 times 5 equals negative 20 over 5 times 13 equals 65. We're going to add these together and we get negative 56 over 65.